If you purchase a Synology NAS, there's probably a pretty good chance that you're storing all of your media files on it. Today we're going to take a look at how you can install Plex Media Server to manage all of that content. Plex Media Server has a great user interface that allows you to view and manage all of your content, as well as streaming applications for all of your favorite devices. Installing Plex is a quick and easy way to turn your NAS into a full-fledged media server. The way that we're going to install Plex is by using the Plex package. However, there is a way that you can install Plex using Docker, and I'll leave instructions for that in the description of the video. So the first thing that you're going to have to do is navigate to the Plex website and download the latest Synology DSM-7 install file. So almost everybody is going to be installing the Intel 64-bit version of this, and we're going to be downloading it and installing it this way because the Plex package on the Package Center is actually a really old beta version. So by the time you watch this video, depending when that is, there's a chance that that package was updated. However, it still might be in your best interest to do it this way because you're ensuring that you're downloading the latest version. So after you download it, open up the Package Center and then select Manual Install. From there, you're going to have to browse to the file that you just downloaded. You will receive a message stating that installing packages from third-party developers is not verified by Synology. This is in essence just saying that you're installing a package that's not on Synology's Package Center, so they can't verify that it's safe. But since you're downloading it directly from the Plex website, you don't really have much to worry about. So if you agree, you can proceed. And at the next step, we're actually going to install this using the Plex Claim Token. Now you have two options, Normal Installation and Plex Claim Token. The normal installation is going to go through and just install Plex, but it's not going to actually associate that Plex server with your account. If you have a Plex user account, or if you want to create a Plex user account, and you log into that account, you're actually going to be installing the Plex media server and associating it with your user account. So what that will do is after this installation is finished, you're automatically going to have it associated with your Plex user account, which means that when you log in, it will automatically be there. This is just an easier way of doing it. So what you can do is select Get Plex Claim Token, and from there you're going to have to sign into your account and you'll have a Plex Claim Token that you can copy, and you can paste that in the installation options. After that, you can select Next and Done, and that will then go through and install Plex Media Server. After it's done installing, you're going to get a pop-up that the server was successfully claimed, and the reason for that is because you associated it with that claim token. You can now select Open to launch Plex, and the first time that you log in, it's going to say that this application is not hosted by Plex. This is just because you're hosting it on your Synology NAS. You can go through and sign in, and at that point, you're going to be brought directly to the Plex dashboard. So there's a few things that you have to be aware of, and the first is that Plex isn't going to automatically go through and look at all of your shared folders for media. What you actually have to do is associate a content type with your media files so that Plex will go through and it will slowly start to crawl in all the album covers and the movie covers, etc. So the way that you can do that is you can select settings in the top right. It's the little wrench icon. And then on the left hand side, you can scroll down and select libraries. From there, you can select add library. And then for the library type, you're going to have to select whatever type of media this is. So for me, I'm selecting movies. After that, you can go into the Add Folder section, and you're going to have to navigate to the folder that contains all of your movies. Now, keep in mind that if you're selecting the content type movies and you have TV shows in there, you might have some issues with the cover art. So you want to make sure that you do this individually for each media type that you have. As soon as you do that, Plex is going to go through and it's going to start to crawl in all of that data, all of the metadata, and it's going to be what you use to navigate through your media. So at this point, Plex is fully set up. You can connect to it. You can go through on your Amazon Fire TV or your Apple TV, your phone, whatever it is, download the Plex app, and you should be able to connect back to it. A few notes that I want to make. The first is that you're not going to be able to access this using anything like Quick Connect. If you want to access your Plex media server from outside of your local network, you're either going to have to port forward the Plex port, which in this case is 32400, or you can set up something like a VPN. I have a tutorial for how you can do that. I'll leave a pop-up for that now. But that, in essence, is just going to allow you to connect to your local network from outside of your local network so that you can access your files. The second thing is that the Plex package that we just installed does not work with hardware acceleration. 
So first and foremost, you're going to need the Plex Pass in order to get hardware acceleration to work. But if you did want it to work, you're not going to be able to use this method. You're going to have to use Docker and you can get it working that way. I will leave a pop-up for instructions on how you can do that now and I'll also leave them in the description of the video, but it is a slightly different process. So at this point, after you get everything set up, you will be able to ensure that anytime you add media to any of those folders, Plex will automatically crawl through that data, it will get the cover art, it will get all the metadata, and you'll be able to navigate through it using all of the applications. So I'm hoping that this video helped you guys out. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments of the video. And if you like content like this, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks, guys.